Hi, everybody. Um, let us know that you can hear us and see us and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. I love the name Chevy. Is that, does that come from somewhere? <laughs> no, um, you know, it's really a nickname I picked up because growing up, no one knew how to really pronounce my name, so. How do you, what's your real name? It's if Chavar you want to Chavaro? Chavarlo. Oh, Chavarlo. 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 <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> Chavarlo. <laughs> that's why I the nickname Chevy. Everyone's like, we're just going to call you Chevy. I'm perfect. <laughs> it's so fun. I love, I love it. Like, yeah, I love when people have nicknames. Same. As Jax knows. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, all right, guys. So, so everybody is good. They can hear us. They can see us. Yeah. Okay. So hello, everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning in yet again. Um, this is It's Business Time episode four, actually, and I'm super excited for our guest today. Um, but before we introduce him, I'm just going to let you know who I am in case you don't know yet. So I'm Jax, and I am a professional makeup artist from northern New Jersey, and I specialize in beauty makeup for television, commercials, um, digital, branded digital content, luxury bridal. Um, I'm a custom blend specialist which is this right here. It um, does it all. Okay. <laughs> does it everything, does everything. Um, I partnered with Market America, Shop.com, Motives Cosmetics back in 2012. And uh, since then, in uh, 2017, I started training on a national level for the company. And um, this is a, a show that will be showcasing all walks of life, all types of people um, from different backgrounds, um, personally, professionally, uh, that have all decided to partner in some way with Market America Shop.com. So that's what this show is about. I will introduce my lovely sidekick, Ivy Ray. And if you want to go take it from there, go right. Why don't, why don't you introduce me? What do you, no, what you, do you know? You. What do you think of me? <laughs> I think she's really cool. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, I'm Ivy Ray. I'm a makeup artist also in New York City. And I am Jax's partner in crime. And I pretty much specialize in all the things that she mentioned that she specializes in. But I'm also doing uh, virtual sessions in, in these times right now. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, and I love cats and vintage clothing and France. She does. <laughs> That's real. Wow. She she really does. That's I'm so gonna, real. I'm gonna go ahead and go like this now too, because I feel like I need a little dab. Um, oh, babble. <laughs> I have this on right now. Oh, I love it. In case so, anyone wanted to know. So, <laughs> so we um, are in for a treat this this evening, this early evening. Um, we have Chevy on and. Um, I'm so stoked for this because I met Chevy um, a few years back, uh, well, obviously through Market America, but then also uh, we realized that we had like a couple mutual friends outside of the business, right? So we got together with um, a bunch of people, had went to happy hour, and um, I've just loved watching his business grow ever since. Um, so Chevy, if you want to just introduce yourself on a little bit more of a larger scale, let us know, uh, what, you, what do you do for a living now? Um, where you're from originally and, and just give us all those juicy details that we want to know. Awesome. Who are you? Who so, are you exactly? Who am I? You guys want me to read my who am I statement? <laughs> sure. <laughs> whatever you want to do. <laughs> as long as it has some jest and some humor to it. <laughs> got a little bit of both, right? Okay. <laughs> um, you know, my name is Chevy, and uh, I'm originally from Jamaica, and uh, moved here oof, about 21 years ago, mm -hmm. right? And uh, came here for the American dream. Um, my, my mom brought us here, me and my sisters, and told us, you know what, you need to study hard, you know, stay in school, and get that degree, and you'll be set. You know, and I'm sure that sounds familiar to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And you know, um, I found this business as a college student trying to figure out what I wanted to focus on. You know, I was 
accepted to William Patterson on pre-engineering. And I was like, I don't know if I want to do this, but I, I love numbers. And my mom's like, yeah, you know, engineers make good money. So you should do that. So um, I found out that's not what I wanted to do. And I kept switching my majors, figuring things out. And a friend of mine reached out and said, hey, Chevy, you should take a look at this. And I'm like, oh, it's just one of those things. Like, I'm not interested, never sold anything. And uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm, I'm, I was an introvert. Like, I really didn't want to talk to people much. When I moved here, I had a really thick accent. So, uh, you know, and people would always ask me, huh, what did you say? So I was like, you know what, I'm just not going to talk. <laughs> so, uh, you I'm know, not going to tell you my name, and I'm not going to talk. And I'm, not gonna <laughs> I'm just going to pretend I'm not really here, right? <laughs> so, uh, oh, no. <laughs> So, you know, I stumbled on this on this concept and I was reluctant, skeptical. And um, when I actually saw it, I was just extremely grateful because I couldn't believe something like this existed. So, um, you know, my buddy said, hey, you want to do this? What do you think? I'm like, I don't know. But, you know, when I went to this, uh, I think it was a regional convention about nine years back, um, I saw that a lot of people succeeding were from the Asian community. And I know in Jamaica where I'm from, you know, we do admire them as business owners and uh, professionals in our community. So I was like, you know what, maybe I could learn something from them. Maybe I could partner up with them, even though I wasn't necessarily equipped to build a business. And uh, you know what, the rest is history. I decided, you know, I, I don't see a lot of people that look like me building this business and killing it. So I'd like to be one of the first. Uh, but I did have a moment where I'm like, well, maybe it's not for me. And that's why I don't see anyone who looks like me who's building this um, or killing this thing. So, um, you know, I stuck around and eventually it clicked and started having some fun with this and it started blowing up. And I'm just really excited to share that with other people. You know? I love that. I yeah. love that so much. Yeah, I have, I have a follow up question. But if Jax does, too, you can go first. No, go ahead. Go ahead. You, you can ask. Um, so Chevy, what like what exactly brought you to want to partner with this company? Like what specifically drew you in like a hundred percent? A hundred percent actually. Okay. <laughs> you know, I've I'm I see what you did that. there. I see what you did there. That's so funny. That that's exactly what it was. Like everyone a lot of my friends, they did all these other companies from Manway to Herbal Life to Mary Kay. My sister did that and you know, I saw all their business plan because everyone wanted me to go look at it. Mm -hmm. And I'm a numbers guy, like I previously mentioned. And I just, I knew, I'm like, I'm going to have to sell how much? I'm going to have to recruit how much? I'm not a salesman and I, I don't recruit. So I'm, I'm not going to make it. But when I saw that this business, that I only needed two people and it was 100%, no levels. It was a no brainer. Mm -hmm. So I was like, whatever we're doing, I'm, a, I'm, I'm interested because I'm sure that I can do this. Uh, but then when I saw like everything, like motives and, you know, TLS and shops.com and how we could get paid to buy what we're already buying, like it was like the icing on the cake for me. The plan got me before all that. Oh, wow. So it was the plan, the yeah. actual, um, the structure of, of the, the organizational structure, structuring of the company, the compensation plan, that was what was the interest to you. That's interesting. Okay, so that's really cool. So um, tell us tell us a little bit about what you do professionally right now um, and how long you've been, um, been there and, and just give us that kind of day-to-day -day life uh, with Chevy. What is life like every day with Chevy? Awesome. So um, I'll give you a, a recap or a review from way back when I found this business, I was actually uh, a transporter at the hospital, Hackensack University Medical. Mm -hmm. and, um, I was also delivering newspapers for the record, right? So my day consisted of me waking up really early at like 4 a.m., going out to the record and helping to get the paper out to people and then going to school after that. And then after classes, I would come back to Hackensack to work at the hospital. So that was a typical day for me. And, you know, I was just thinking, man, I've been working for years already and I don't feel like I'm getting ahead. So uh, when I found this business, actually, you know, I learned so many different skill sets that I was able to get promoted probably about a year after finding this. 
And, um, you know, now um, I'm the supervisor of patient transport there. And, um, you know, it's fun. I, it's been a very interesting last couple of months. You know, I wouldn't count that as part of the fun. Mm -hmm. But generally, uh, you know, it was rounding with patients, solving problems, connecting with people, connecting with my team, you know, and um, I love that. I love being able to connect with people. However, it's been uh, the past few months, it's been a little different. So, you know, things are looking on the up and up, though. So I'm excited to see what's what's to come. So you still work at the hospital? I do. Okay. I do. Yeah. And do you work there every day or is it like a full time? Yeah, full time, Monday to Friday. Yeah. And so how do you how do you like cor incorporate your business into your personal? Like how do you how do you incorporate your business into your life basically? That was going to be my next question too. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> nice. We're what? like telepathic at this point. I, I know. noticed, you know, I saw the, the past few episodes and I noticed you got to go back and forth. I'm like, was that planned? <laughs> but I know it wasn't, but it looks like it. Right? Yes, uh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just go with the flow. Um, I feel like this business is more of a lifestyle. So it's not necessarily like I have to take time out. It's more of like I'm flowing. Does that make sense? So if someone needs to, a phone call, if I have to follow up, you know, before work, after work, um, whatever the case may be, you know, now everything's online, Zoom. So we just figure it out. We make it work. But I feel like it's more of a lifestyle. It's more about just paying attention to what I'm doing and, and doing it with purpose because I was doing this business before I found it. Wow. Yeah, that's um, that's an interesting that's an interesting point that you were, you know, d basically doing this business before you found it. So, and I just love that, that you said that if you could expand on that, that particular idea, I think our audience might be able to um, get an even better glimpse into what we do as part of our business, you know? Awesome. Yeah. Um, saying like th that specific word doing, right? Yeah. We're, we're getting paid to shop, right? Our business is just a really sophisticated tracking system. So I would say before I knew about this, I was doing that, I was shopping, but now I'm building a business where I'm deliberately looking to apply the skill set that I, that, I, that I learned. Also the different avenues or different ways to create a residual income mm -hmm. through shopping specifically from our website like that's the only difference like it's now I, want, I, li I like to think of it this way think about it as a credit card right and you know there's one credit card that gives you the rewards points or the cash back it's like every time I go to spend money now my shop.com business is kind of like a credit card right right it's just that I'm tracking it and I'm getting paid on how much volume I'm doing but here's the best part right because of the, the past few months of uh, you know things slowing down. I've been doing a lot of research and studying on, on like credit and building credit. So think about an authorized user. Are you familiar with authorized users? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, but please explain it. Please explain it. So basically you add someone to your card That's where they get a specific, you know, card, but they're attached to your account. So now when they spend anything, it shows up on your account. That's basically what this business is. Right. So if I have to get to a certain amount of spending, I'm adding more authorized users to my card. We get there together and we get paid together. Isn't that a brilliant concept? That is so insane. That is so brilliant that, that you thought of it in that, in that way because it's such a perfect analogy, I feel. And it's not even just like, even to take it a step further, um, it's like adding authorized users to your credit card, yes, and then all of your spending is on is coming up on the same statement, right? Mm -hmm. And then not only that, but all of that all of that spending is accruing and accumulating like air airplane miles or like whatever points. it is, like points um, towards all of you now getting to take advantage of those points in in terms of cash, you know. Um, and I think that's really, oh my God, I never even, I've never heard of it in that way before. I think that's really great. 
So it's kind of like everyone's getting credit for their like the like the like the points that you would get on your credit card. Exactly. Instead of just one person, like you know how people fight over like I want to pay for this because I want the points. It's mm -hmm. like kind of everyone gets those points. Exactly. Right? Oh, that's an even that's another one. That's a good one. I mean, <laughs> like if you're at dinner and someone's like, I want the I want my credit card to be put down, right? Are we, are we like creating something right here? I think we are. <laughs> it, it, Somebody it, tag it, JR. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody tag JR and Lauren, please. Thank you. <laughs> so, Chevy, what's your actual like major? Like, what do you, what division do you specialize in in Mark in America? Nutrimetrics. Uh, it just made a lot of sense to me that, you know, I'm in a healthcare field. I'm going to meet a lot of health professionals. Networking is what I do. And actually, one of my best friends I met because I decided, you know what, Nutrimetrics should be um, the, the avenue that I, that the route that I take when, when it comes to building this business. So I'm like, all right, I need to find a, you know, a doc that's like really chill, really cool, open-minded, you know, believe in supplementation. And you know what, when we met, like we just instantly hit it off and, you know, he's become one of my best friends since. So shout out to Suhel Ahmed. It's my brother from another mother. Oh, nice. I didn't realize he was your partner. Awesome. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, okay, so that's, that's what else? Did we, I, I wanted you to talk about. Oh, wait, actually expand on that. So what is Nutrimetrics? Some, I mean, some people, we had Beverly Koo on, who I know you know Beverly, mm -hmm. um, a couple weeks ago, and obviously she's a Nutrimetrics consultant as well. Um, but for those who are just tuning in to this episode for the first time, let's pretend like they've never heard of that before. So if you can give us an idea of what that is. Awesome, so Nutrimetrics is the healthcare division of uh, Market America, and uh, Market America is our parent company. So our Nutrimetrics division specializes in helping health professionals to implement wellness solutions in their practice. So whatever that may look like, you know, we wanna make sure that they're able to serve their patient base in different ways, whether it's their patients are looking for supplementation, for weight management, you know, or even something as, um, you know, credit card services, we do we do it all. So we just feel like we should keep the, the our patients in house when it comes to lifestyle medicine, instead of saying, you know what, you go talk to the clerk at, um, you know, uh, GNC, like nothing against them. But we know that your health professional would probably be you know the best person to teach you or to guide you when it comes to lifestyle medicine and nutrition yeah absolutely you know I and the pro yeah I the products cater to um, sorry no no sorry go, go you go ahead you go ahead oh i just wanted to say that like the products cater to like certain like problems right like you can kind of match up what somebody feels according to like which product might make them feel better that's what i like about Nutrimetrics. Yeah, and what's what? Um, you know, I got my uh, Nutrimetrics consultant certification years ago, so I, I'm still familiar, even though I haven't been recertified in a while. Um, so I am familiar with it. And what I loved so much about it was that what a great way to not only help the doctors and the health, uh, the health professionals, right, the healthcare professionals. Um, but also well-rounded, obviously, the, their patients. But, you know, a lot of people don't realize the type of um, uh, stress and almost some struggles that the doctors are, have been under and that, that are, they are under because of their reimbursements with um, different type of health insurances and all that kind of stuff. People just assume that doctors are rich, they have all this money because they're a doctor. And um, if they have a successful looking, a successful facing um, practice, that that's all they need and everything's great. Meanwhile, a lot of these like sole practitioners um, who, who own their practice and it's just them, it's like they can only treat a certain amount of people a day, right? And then they have to uh, like they have, if they're not working, they're not getting paid. And that means that their whole staff isn't getting paid and they're not paying bills and all this other stuff. So, I mean, it's not just 
I'm a doctor, so I'm rich and I have all this money. Like that's not how it really works anymore. I'm not, I'm not sure if it ever actually did, but maybe, but certainly not anymore. So the fact that, you know, somebody like Chevy or, or Beverly or whoever, um, is it, that's a Nutrametrics consultant can go in there and customize a, a business plan. So it's not like you're a product rep, like you're actually a business consultant that you walk in, right? And then you can customize a plan based on whatever their practice is, whether it's a chiropractor or, you know, an MD or dentist or um, massage therapist or, or like a nurse practitioner, like whoever it is, right? Um, and based on what their practice needs, you can then create that that business model and business plan for them. I think that's amazing. I do, I've always thought it was amazing. I will continue to think it's amazing. I think it's the best thing. Um, so before we go any further, I would really love for you to give us a, a, a like a digging deep background on, on yourself. Like tell us about Jamaica, tell us about growing up in Jamaica. And um, I know this is probably going to um, mold into what I'm assuming Ivy's next question was going to be. So if, if it does end up um, turning into your why and why you're doing this, uh, please go ahead and, and share that. I have two questions that pertain to that. Okay. <laughs> awesome. So uh, growing up in Jamaica was different. You know, it was very different from growing up here. Um, you know, it was a, I had a more traditional lifestyle back home. My, my mom moved here uh, about, I'd say, 30 years ago. So, um, you know, I grew up with my grandma, my really sweet grandma. Shout out to Grandma Ruby. I love you. Yeah. Uh, you know, I know she's not on Facebook, but, you know. What, what part of Jamaica are you from? Kingston. Kingston. So I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. Um, and, you know, I just remember, oof, life wasn't easy uh, back then for you know, um, growing up there, there's a lot of stuff that you see. Um, you know, there's a lot of crime, there's a lot of poverty. And, um, you know, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to, to make it here. But it also made me realize when I was younger that, hey, my mom isn't here, right? She's away and she's looking to make a better life um, for me and my sisters. So, you know, when I got here, I was like, all right, I'm here now, you know, I get, I get my mom's, you know, Love my grandma, but now I'm here with moms. And, um, you know, I realized that she was always working, you know, and working multiple jobs. So, you know, growing up, I was like, I definitely want to change that for the next generation. You know, I'd love to be a present father. I'd love to be a present brother, a present son. You know, I don't feel, I feel like because I grew up in Jamaica and I got to see things at a different pace, you know, and then moving here and seeing things at a, a much faster pace. Um, we definitely need more present parents in the home because things could have went, you know, awry. If it wasn't for like, you know, my big sister looking out and, uh, you know, someone in the home being there. Mm -hmm. I think that's really, really important. And that's a big part of my why as well. Yeah, support system, a, a, home, a home life support system, so important. So important. Yeah, and it's it's almost like you don't have to go out into the, like and like burn yourself to the ground, right? Like you can kind of like you said, like incorporate it into your lifestyle, yes. and that will meet. And it also means that you can like keep up your energy because you can become really burnt out working as hard as you might have to work without this business attached. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I don't know if you guys know, but. You know, Jamaicans, when we get here, we got like multiple jobs, like three, four jobs. It's always a running joke um, because we are hardworking people um, for the most part. And uh, we, we wouldn't normally have the same amount of opportunities back home that we have here. So uh, when we get here, we're just like, all right, what do I got to do to get this money? You know, because the opportunity back home isn't there. So uh, we, we definitely come here with this work ethic that like, we're going to work and work and work. So when I first saw this plan and I'm like, wait a minute, you mean like people retire before they're 65, 67? Like it didn't really click to me, but it was something that got me excited because 
knowing that I grew up without my parents and home, like I felt like, wow, you know what? This could help me. This could help other people who are in the same situation because it's a common thing for parents to come here and, you know, figure things out and then, you know, um, get their kids once they do. And I'm sure that's in a lot of different countries as well. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? If, if this business, if everyone knew about this, we can speed up that process. Not only that, we could incorporate it into our lifestyle where we could be at home with our kids if we wanted to. You know, I'm sure they drive people crazy sometimes and you want to leave, <laughs> but, you know, at least you'll have the choice. And that's what this is about for me, choices. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's such, a, such a, a, a great story to hear also. Just the fact that, I mean, you've obviously come from a family of um, very hardworking people, right? Um, and the fact that you kind of grew up with that in mind, and not only that, but you had you you landed here, right? You landed here, and you're like, how many jobs can I get? Yep. <laughs> how yep. many jobs could I possibly get? Let's get all the jobs. Let's just get all of the jobs. And <laughs> and then you see something like this business model, and it just kind of knocks you off your feet because then there's all of a sudden some sort of like major possibility that you had no idea was even there in the first place. So that's pretty powerful to me. Definitely. Yeah. And you get to share it. Like that's the other thing. If you can expand on sort of how like teamwork has helped your business or like, can you, did, I don't know if we spoke about that, but like, you know, how, how, how does teamwork fit in to like the, the concept, you know, of, of, of teamwork? In your in your world my world so you know um teamwork is everything and uh shout out to my team you know um everybody i, I wish i could name you all but um i can but i can't you know but every, every single one of you um and thank you you know uh someone who saw my vision when i first first invited well actually he invited himself you know i remember way back in the, in the day we were both working in the hospital and um you know, I think um, I was talking to someone else about the concept and he was like, hey, wait, what are you talking about? What do you mean? He just walked in on no level 100%. And um, he was from insurance sales background. He was working with, I think, Primerica at the time. And when he heard me tell someone else about 100%, he was like, all right, I need to see what this is. So, um, you know, I brought him out. J-Rod, you guys might know who Jonathan is. Mm -hmm, I do. You know who Jonathan is, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, he was like, man, this is an interesting concept. And I was like, Jay, what don't you see? Because we're from Team Flushing, you know. Um, I feel like um, I'm pretty sure I was the first non-Asian guy on Team Flushing. Or <laughs> you know, team. And, um, you know, when me and Jay walked in, he was like, Chevy, are you, are you sure we're in the right place? <laughs> I was like, yeah, we're in the right place. He's like, we're in the right room? I'm like, yeah, we're in the right room. I'm like, what do you see? He's like, I see that there's no Black or Hispanics here. And um, I'm like, exactly. He was like, are you thinking what I'm thinking? He's like, yeah, we're going to change that. Mm -hmm. that's what we set out to do, and that's what we started doing, and that's what, what we are doing. And it's just a beautiful thing, you know. Of course, like any other business, it has ups and downs where, you know, there's times where we're all on fire and then there's times where we're not, but we have each other's backs no matter what, you know, and it's more than just a business to me, um, for people who, who know me, for people who got close to me, you know, even if they felt like, you know what, this isn't working for me, um, I'm going to leave. They know that they'll always have a friend here. I'll show up if they need me. So it's more than just, uh, you know, about the business. Mm -hmm. And I feel like nowadays, like in this day and age with everything going on and how we're looking to support uh, black owned businesses and we're looking to support small businesses. I feel like this concept was way ahead of its time. Oh, absolutely. Right? We don't 100%. have a hundred, a hundred percent again. Right? <laughs> We should name this episode 100%. <laughs> so, yeah, right? Okay, well, I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's, 
for for those who who may be a little bit confused as to why we keep laughing at just you know bringing up the the number a hundred and a hundred percent um you know our our business some some people might assume that because part of our business is um you know a direct to consumer sale right um they think that we are you know quote unquote one of those things or um like an like an MLM, not that there's anything wrong with MLMs, you know, I don't have anything against them, um, but it's just that we're not built that way. And if you have studied um, MLM organizational structures or compensation plans, and then you look at ours, you immediately will, will see that there is a huge difference. And actually we're the only company um, that is built this way, period. So there, it, you know, so I get like where people are like, oh, what is that? It's one of those things. Well, no, it isn't, but I understand your confusion if you have never looked into it. Um, but with that said, our business plan is, um, is so not one of those things that you actually get, you actually benefit from your entire team's productivity from the volume um, at 100%. So even if you know I partnered with this with this company um, back in in 2012, and Ivy uh, just partnered in what 2017 ish mm -hmm. somewhere around there, mm -hmm. um, you know I even though she is on the organizational chart because she um, she partnered years after me, she's quote unquote below me when you draw out the organizational chart. Um, but I still benefit from her productivity 100% and she actually benefits from mine 100% as well. So even like even sh just saying that alone, <laughs> me being above her or whatever you want to call it, um, she still uh, has the opportunity to benefit from me at a 100%. And so, that's because we're on the same team. We're on the same team. Yep. Yep. We're on the same team. Yep. And then it just keeps on going, going, going. Everybody that's even remotely linked to each other, we all benefit from each other 100%. And it's very reciprocal that way. Um, there's no uh, degradation of, of, uh, of volume points that add up to commission checks basically is what that means. Um, but yeah, so that's, I just wanted to throw that out there because people were like, why are they laughing at 100%? Like, I don't get it. Why is that funny? <laughs> Well, surprise the best business plan <laughs> i like how you explain that because a lot of people have misconceptions for sure and they might think like oh we just have to have a lot of like products in our garage you know like that yeah, kind of thing yeah by the way i don't even have a garage so <laughs> heavy do we have to do that <laughs> not at all not at all <laughs> Yeah, it's not like that at all. Um, oh, what else can we talk about? We have a few more minutes. Um, we've did. Did you kind of talk about your your why? Did you actually so, yeah. say what it was? No, um, I didn't actually say what it what it is. But um, you know, uh, part of it is to to be a full time parent in the future and being present for my family, and my friends. Um, but it's a lot bigger than that. You know, I feel like because I learned this information that was different and I was able to see something I never saw before. Mm -hmm. I feel like it changed the trajectory of my life. And there's a lot of underserved communities where if they can see someone who looks like them, who decided, you know what, I'm not gonna go the traditional route. Right? I'm gonna create something. You know, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, whether it's a real estate, owning my own business, you know, just being that example of hope and i feel like that's what i would love that's one of my whys you know i definitely want to retire my mom as well you know she's been working really hard you know since she got to this country and you know i can't i mean i can't imagine like i mean i hear her complain i know what it is you know so um that's one of my immediate goals like i i want to I'm going to, not want to, I'm going to retire her, whether she knows it or not, whether she believes it or not, we talk about it, but she kind of laughs it off, but she's going to see, you know, um, stranger things have happened. And I've seen a lot of people, uh, people who launched their business after me, do the same for their family, do the same for their loved ones. So why not me? Why not me? Right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I love that. And Chevy, like, I know you're this, you have multiple wives, but like, 
could you speak to like how Market America changed your life so far? Absolutely. Um, you know, um, how it changed my life so far. It put me in a growth environment. So uh, before it was kind of like I was trying to figure things out, right? Um, my father, he's, um, he's a radiographer back in the islands. And, um, you know, he's a director of his department. And I was thinking, hey, why not follow in his footsteps? You know, I'll start off as like, you know, an x-ray tech and then work up to like CT, MRI. And, you know, that was kind of what I was trying to, I was, I, that was my idea of succeeding, right? But when I found this, I, I learned that I was not an introvert. I learned that I have a passion for public speaking. I have a passion for connecting with people and for helping others. And, you know, eventually one of my goals is to be um, a life coach, a motivational speaker. Oh, I could see that. I could mm -hmm. see that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And, um, you know, I've always written, so I, I, I write poetry and uh, I've always written my, feel, wrote my feelings down, like just on paper. But um, after gaining the skill set of public speaking, I was like, you know what? I want to do like spoken word. Like I want to I wanna share this with the world. And um, everything that I felt like was hidden inside, being a part of a growth environment that teaches you that you can do anything you put your mind to and we're not just limiting it to this business, but anything you put your mind to, um, it changed the trajectory for my life. And that's how, that's what this company has done for me. Uh, this team, my team, our team, our leaders, you know, um, Think and Grow Rich. I'm, I'm reading that book again right now. And, you know, I've read it before and I feel like every time I read it, every time I listen to it, I learn something that I didn't pick up on before. And, I gain even more belief. I gave you, I gain even more confidence and that is everything. And if I can like be, if I'm able to transmute that to someone 10 years younger than me, mm -hmm. someone 20 years younger than me, or even someone 10 years older than me, you know, if I can transmute that energy, that belief, that confidence that, Hey, you matter and you, your dreams matter and you can do anything you put your mind to what's what's more enjoyable than that right yeah i agreed i think that's and by the way i have to re re-listen to that book because i've also that's also one of my favorite ones um but yeah absolutely i think i think that's powerful i think everything you've said so far is is very powerful today i, I know having this interview right so now. i know me too it's so inspiring like I, my, I wanted to know, Chevy, like, how many people have you actually, like, spoken to at once? Like, because you're saying you're got, you've gotten over your fear of public speaking. Like, how much, what volume have you even been um, at? Uh, was at a regional convention, so probably about four to 5,000. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot. That's, like, more than some, like, rock concert. <laughs> 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 or any concerts, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, <laughs> well, what I what I would love to um, just expand on or um, kind of dig a little bit deeper into is the idea of teamwork that we brought up before. Um, but as far as teamwork goes, I want to hear from you how the idea of teamwork really works with our company and and the structure of our company because yeah like for instance ivy and i happen to both be professional makeup artists right and we happen to be on the same team because she's a good friend of mine um and that's and she was introduced to this business through me um but we also have other people on our team and now you and i like we're not on the same team chevy chevy and and, uh, and us like we're not on the same team but um uh well i mean kind of are we Maybe we're like, Maybe. like cousins, like yeah. we might be second or third cousins on the, on the team. Um, but we have uh, people from all different uh, backgrounds professionally um, on our team, you know, and, and I think, well, I don't want to talk about it. You talk about how that works and who you can partner with and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so for me, I felt like it was, um, the teamwork aspect was I didn't have to be good at everything. I didn't have to know everything, right? So um, I'm probably not the most detailed, 
I know some of my teammates are probably cracking up about that. But, you know, tracking stuff and like writing stuff down, that's not necessarily my strength. It's something that I got to work on. And having a team of people where everyone can play a role, right? Like a, a professional sports team. There's one quarterback, you know, we might need someone to block, someone to run the ball. I'm using a football analogy, but um, we all can play a role and we all need to play a role in order to win. But if, if there was a one-man team, I couldn't play all those positions at this mm -hmm. time. That's just not going to happen. So I feel like that's one of the ways that, that I understand how important the, the value of team is where everyone does a little bit, right? And another way um, I really value the teamwork is, you know, a lot of people shop online, right? Now, before this business, I could buy something at Macy's. You can buy something at Macy's and Ivy buys something at Macy's and none of us really get any credit or anything. But now whenever we all shop, we're letting Macy's know like, hey, there's a powerhouse of a company that's supporting your business, right? So we can negotiate. And uh, JR's vision is let's make our buying power so strong that they have to lower the prices for us because of how much we're spending. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's genius. And like the way that I, I fully like, I, I don't know, there's always different ways or analogies that I'm thinking of this concept. Uh, think of Costco, right? Everyone, a lot of people have a Costco membership. We all pay our what, 99, I don't know how much it is per year or, or 59, whatever it is. Our, our concept is very similar in where we, we pay for our membership, except it's ownership, mm -hmm. right? Ownership. But now when I buy from Costco, wouldn't it be awesome, Ivy, if you're getting paid on it? It's really cool. Right, Jax? Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm on board. That's so cool. <laughs> we're, we're doing the same exact thing. Right. Right. The structure just throws people off, but we're doing the same exact thing. But outside at Costco, we could buy all we want. My spending does not affect your spending mm -hmm. at all, not in the least. But because I referred you, now all of a sudden everything you were gonna buy anyway affects me isn't that beautiful yeah i mean it absolutely is it's it's you know i always like to to say it's um as far as the it's what we've already been doing anyway kind of concept um you know if if you go to a great restaurant or if you go see a movie that you really like um whatever it is if somebody is like oh um do you uh, where, where have you been any good like restaurants lately? What, what do you recommend? You know, you're from this area. What do you recommend there? Oh, well, I recommend this, uh, restaurant. Their drinks are great. They, whatever, you know, whatever the, the deal is, you should get this, this, and this and whatever. Okay. And so then they'll go to the restaurant and then I'm not going to get paid from the referral. Of course not. Right. Because that's not how the world works. Um, or like on the same respect to a movie, like let's say, you know, the last movie that I saw in theaters was Bad Boys for Life. Um, and like, let's say, I like love that franchise, by the way. <laughs> Big, we know, Jax, we know. <laughs> Big fan, you've never hear, hear, heard me talk about it before. Um, so, so I saw Bad Boys for Life and yes, I would recommend anybody seeing it if you haven't already. Um, and so, you know, people are like, oh, well, did you like that movie? What movie should I go see? Oh, go see Bad Boys for Life. Uh, all right, great. So they go to AMC, buy their ticket, and then we're like Fandango or whatever, buy their ticket and um, go see the movie that I recommended. Well, I don't get paid for that normally, right? But in this business model, because by the way, Fandango is one of our partner stores, um, you actually can get paid for referring somebody to go see a freaking movie. Hello? And that's, hello, <laughs> and not only do you get, um, you know, a commission or you get points based on, on that, you, get be you benefit from that referral, but your entire team does as well. So it's not just, you know, one person benefiting from somebody going to a random movie. It's, it's hundreds or thousands of people that are benefiting, actually, depending on, on how large your team is. Um, from from somebody going to a movie that they would have gone to anyway, right? 
it's 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 literally living life the way you're living only you're redirecting your spending habits a little bit um so that you can get paid on that volume and it supports everyone's business as well as yours exactly i mean it's so stupid how good it is <laughs> i could talk about it for a long time but we're coming to an end i think we're coming to a close we're hitting that mark soon um, Ivy, did we miss anything that you wanted to bring up since we still have this lovely man with us? I know. I love this lovely man. He's so good. Chevy, you're super inspiring. Yeah. Make me blush, even if you can't see it. It's What's so that? good. You're making me blush, even if you can't Aww. see it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we asked a lot of things. Like, could you, could you tell us like a little bit about your like interests Chevy like what you like what you're what you like dig like I I said I like like vintage stuff and like France like tell us what you're into we want to like know you what am I into I'm into a lot of different <laughs> what's your deal what's your steve <laughs> <laughs> I love cars right um I love cars it's a classic cars my one of my favorite cars of all time it's a uh, 300 ZX so it's the older Z and um, they had the t-tops back in the day and like they were so futuristic I just love cars I love driving manual right I oh, love you know, turbos and exhaust I love all that stuff car shows and um, I also love anime so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a yeah. geek right like Britney like Britney um, yeah <laughs> Like, Brittany was talking about like, anime the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't stop talking about she anime. She's <laughs> talking about anime now. <laughs> it sounds like Brit. So, yeah, you know, um, anime is it's one of my favorite things. And I like to write, you know. Um, I'm, I'm, I love just putting words on paper and expressing emotion connecting with people uh, specifically poetry and um, you know I've been thinking about like you know do I care if I publish it or not right and um, I, I really feel like at this point I need to I don't care if it's like famous but I have to put it out there if that makes any sense yeah yeah it's sure? it's almost like you you got to get it out of you gotta get it you out know? yeah put it out there and whatever happens with it happens with it right can you write a poem about us and this show? Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> I have to share the next the episode I come back for, right? I want to see that. We'll do part two, and it'll just be like all spoken word. <laughs> I love it. It's so exciting. Uh, yeah, well, here's the deal. It, you're going to have to be on the spot. So we're going to ask you more questions, and then you have to spoken word your way through your answer. Yes. Oh, my God, yes. Look out. Yeah, I'm, I'm up for a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I think it's interesting, Chevy, like that we could all be ourselves in this business too. Like maybe you could speak a tiny bit about that, like how you incorporate your, your personality. Yeah. So, um, you know, I feel like when it comes to being ourselves in this business, there's always someone that we're going to connect to, someone we're going to attract. So we don't have to be someone else. We can be ourselves because maybe your message isn't for that person who's judging you or doesn't connect with you, but there's someone else out there that your message is going to be for. It doesn't matter if it's one person out of a room of 3,000. If it's that one person that gets your message, then that's why you were meant to be there. I love that. I love that too. I we, agree with that. Definitely. Yeah. Same, same Z's. We have got to um, have Chevy on again for sure right yes. in the future yes. oh, um, yeah. you have no say in it chevy you're doing it um but let's start wrapping up um thank you guys so much for tuning in to episode four of it's business time and we will have another episode next week. I have to double check the date because I forgot. I, it's Tuesday or Thursday. Um, we will have Martha on. And um, you'll, 
get to know Martha then. But um, as I've always said in, in each episode, if you have any questions about anything we've talked about, or if you're curious to know more about Market America and the different partnership options, and um, if, or if, it, like, if it would be for you, and, and maybe it would be, maybe it wouldn't be, you, you wouldn't know until you ask, right? Um, if you don't know anybody who is already partnered with the company, please feel free to reach out to any of us um, and we'll direct you, um, you know, in whatever way that, that suits you, basically. It's not about us, it's about you. Um, but thank you so much again, Chevy. I appreciate you being on. Um, Ivy, you're the shit. I love you. Yay. I <laughs> smell it. I smell like it too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just inhaled my hair. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> um, just kidding. It's not great. <laughs> <laughs> thanks guys for being on. Um, yeah. And if you guys have any other questions and, uh, go ahead and put them in the comments. We'll do our best to answer you in the comments or you can always message us privately. Um, but for sure, don't forget to get any questions answered if you do have questions. And um, yeah, because we're here for you. All right. Thank you guys thank so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And nice to meet you, Chevy, virtually. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.